everyone, I am Jinoi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will create a simple SAP Fiori application using SAP Business Application Studio, specifically in the trial environment. If you are just starting with UI5 and Fiori development, this tutorial is perfect for you. Let's jump in. First of all, go to your browser and search for SAP BTP trial login and click on the first link. The link will be also given in the description. Here click on trial home. If you are using the trial account, the first step is to set up your SAP business technology platform. Navigate to the BTP trial page, create your account if you haven't already and make sure you activate your trial services including SAP business application studio. On this page click on SAP business application studio which will open a new tab. Now you need to create a new dev space by clicking on create dev space and here you can name your application as you want. I am going to write it as app underscore yt and over here you don't need to select anything apart from SAP Fury and click on create dev space. It will take some time to start your first dev space and wait until that. After the dev space showing status is running, click on the app name which will open your dev space. This get started page is not necessary so we will close this one. Now click on the hamburger icon, click on file and create a new project from template. Here click on the SAP Fury generator and click on start. Now you need to select your template. We are going to going with the basic template. So we will select basic template and click on next. As of now we are not using any data sources so we will select none for this. Here type your first view name. And this view name will be the default view name for your project. I will type home underscore view for here. And click on next. And here you should fill the attributes. Write your web app name here and give a title accordingly. Also keep in mind that you cannot use a uppercase letter here. And for now you don't need to configure anything else, you just need to click on finish. Click on add project to workspace. Now you can see the file structure of basic UI5 Fiori web app. And you need to open this web app to find your controller model and view. And if you are not sure about what is model view controller that is MVC, I recommend you to study MVC first then head on to this project. Now the next task is to print hello world with our view page. For that you need to open the view folder and go to home view dot view dot XML. So this is our default view page which we have declared while creating the template and I am going to change the contents and creating a text element. A text element is used to print a text in the website and which is having the attribute text and you can give the value which you need to print on the website. Here I am going to print hello world and we are going to save this one and here it shows some error because of some empty id like that means we are not declaring any id here so we should click on text and click on generate id for this so that id will be generated and click on this icon and you will get the terminal here you should type npm start to start our server which will open a website in new tab if your pop-up is blocked then please enable your pop-up 
for this website then only this tab will be launched automatically otherwise you should click on control keep, click, keep clicking on control and press on localhost 8080 which was mentioned on the terminal and here you can see a hello world is printed and there you have it you have created your first SAP Fiori UEFI application using the SAP Business Application Studio trial and displayed Hello World on the screen. This is just the beginning. There is so much more to explore in the world of SAP Fiori development. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more tutorials. See you in the next one.